Morning. In this lecture, we will discuss uh, different measure of central tendency. Uh, as we have uh, number of measure of central central tendency, but the most uh, prominent uh, measure of central of uh, tendency include uh, the following. Uh, but uh, uh, before discussing uh, those measure of central tendency, first we should define that uh, what is meant by measure of central tendency. Uh, the measure of central tendency are used to locate the center of data that uh, uh, which is the central point of the data. Now we have uh, measure of central tendency like uh, arithmetic mean, uh, simple average or mean, uh, then harmonic mean, geometric mean, trimmed mean, median, mode, mid range, expected value that is based on probability data, uh, then we have weighted average. Then we have uh, quantized when we have a large set of data, then we divide the data uh, into different parts like uh, uh, quartiles if further divided into uh, quartiles, decides and percentile. Now in quartiles, the second quartiles give us the center of the data. Uh, in decides the 50 side will also give us the center of data and in percentile the 58 percentile is the center of data. Now arithmetic mean when we have uh, the data where we have no outliers uh, then uh, this is the easiest way to calculate the center of data and it is very most common measure of center tendency. Uh, in harmonic mean when we have speed problem then we use uh, this harmonic mean in the data uh, like investment uh, uh, where we have the growth pattern, then we use geometric mean, uh, especially in corporate finance uh, investment course. Uh, we need this geometric mean uh, when we calculate the rate of return on different investment for longer period, say five years, uh, three years and so on, then we apply basically geometric mean. And then we have trim mean when we have outlier in the data means some extreme value. For example, we have one, three, five, and then 50. If the 50 is outlier, then we trim the 50 and calculate our mean. In median, again, uh, it is also used to, like trim mean when we have different uh, uh, extreme values, then uh, median is best to calculate average. Uh, mode, uh, when we have uh, many numbers that are most frequent to occur in the data, uh, then we have the mode. We have uh, uh, single mode, bi mode, tri mode, and so on. We have multi modes. Now, in mid range, we calculate the uh, average by subtracting the maximum value, uh, so minimum value from maximum value, and then it is divided by two. Uh, in expected value, it is also the average when our data is based on probability data. And in weighted average, if uh, we have weights, uh, like in uh, portfolio, uh, we calculate. Uh, uh, weights of investment, and then uh, we use this weighted average and this weighted average are many application in research. And then we have large uh, enough data uh, like we have uh, uh, quantile regression as well. Uh, so uh, we use uh, quartile decide and percentile. Now, first of all, that uh, how we calculate average. Uh, first of all, I will write uh, the formula. Like a simple average is basically, I am writing here like this one here. It is, let's say, x bar is equal to uh, summation x by n. And if we have frequency data, then we can calculate every like summation fx divided by and summation f. And if uh, we have, for example, probability data, then simply replace uh, F by P. And then, and we know that uh, sum of probabilities always equal to one. So in this case, uh, only we have summation Px. Uh, then in case of weighted average, then we have this formula summation, I'm sorry, uh, I just uh, will write again, a summation WH uh, divided by summation W. And we have 
again sum of weight is equal to one. So it's simple form is just measure uh, W X. Now, in case of, uh, uh, let's say, uh, geometric mean, uh, it is nth root. Uh, simply, if you calculate geometric mean is equal, it is basically a product of number and product is represented by P. And after getting this product, it's raised to power one by N. Or uh, you can uh, like uh, write it as, uh, uh, geometric mean you have already learned that uh, geometric mean is let's say x1 multiplied by x2 multiplied by x3 and so on and it's raised to power 1 by n or it can be written as like uh, this way x1 uh, multiplied by x2 multiplied by x3 and it's n through. No, because if we have negative number, we can't calculate this geometric mean. So the transform form is of geometric mean is like this one. Product of, again, we add one number. If we have negative number, in returns, uh, usually we have uh, uh, negative numbers and it is almost less than one. So we add this value x, plus one, and then we calculate its nth power, one by nth, and then we subtract one. So usually we prefer this formula to calculate geometric mean. I will explain all these uh, formulas one by one. Uh, now, uh, like uh, in uh, Tim mean, we just uh, Tim the value and we use only this simple formula that, that is this one. And now in median, you know that the median formula it is a central point. First, we sort the data. And in more, the most frequent uh, number that is occurring. In mid-range, uh, we uh, take the difference between x maximum and x minimum, and it is divided by 2. And expected value, I have also explained this one. Now, uh, with the help of data, I will explain uh, some of these measures in detail. Uh, now, first of all, for example, Now, we have the data, very simple. Okay, I can take data here. Let's say we have three numbers. Sorry. One, two, and three. Now, to get simple average, just sum it and then divide it. Now we have these uh, x, x observation, these are x observation, and this is basically summation x. Now summation x is basically our six, and here n is basically three. Now uh, we divide this x by three, I mean this is our six, divided by three, we have two average. Now, in case uh, we have, uh, it is also called uh, equally weighted average because weights are equal. Uh, to check this, for example, X again, we have these three numbers and let's say frequency is same, one, 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 means this one, uh, these are occurring, uh, these numbers are occurring one, at, for example, uh, if we want to calculate uh, uh, average uh, for group data, then we apply this one, summation fx divided by summation f. Now for uh, equal weights, I will use this one, summation w uh, x formula. I will explain it later on. Now, uh, right now I am explaining uh, how to calculate the data, uh, sorry, the uh, average for uh, group data. Now, first of all, we need some sum of frequency, and then we need look at the formula. We have summation fx. Now for summation fx, we multiply these two numbers. You will have to do all this calculation manually. 
because in most of the exam or quizzes, you need to calculate manually. And then just sum it. Now here, this number is basically your, this one. Now this, this is your summation if, and this is your summation fx. And now to calculate x bar, we need this one summation fx divided by summation f here. We have six and three, the over answer is two. But if you change the number, then you will get different results. If some of the frequency values are different means uh, this two is occurring twice in the data. It means that its frequency is two, then definitely you have uh, some, uh, it may be some different results. And for example, this uh, data is occurring five times, and you can see that now the average is 1.5. Now in the second case, uh, when Uh, for uh, let's say probability data again. For example, we just replace this x by f by p. So here we have p, and here we is uh, p x. Now, for example, it, here is a restriction that uh, sum of weight should be equal to. sum of probability should be equal to one. So in this case, again, we multiply this one, Px, this is basically your summation, Px, I'm writing here, summation Px, this one. So your average in this case is 1.9. Now, for example, we have this data, x and then p, and we need just Px, and let's say we have a number like one, two, and probability is if we have equal probability, then we can get the same answer at in case of uh, group data. Or uh, in case of simple, uh, equally uh, weighted. Now, for example, just add these two. Now it is your uh, expected value are the average that is based on probability data. And even if you calculate uh, its average, like uh, simple average, which is the unequal, sorry, which is equally distributed, uh, simply we may call it is that uh, equally weighted. So if you divide it by number of observation, you can observe that we have the same answer. Uh, now in case of weights, It is weighted average, and sum of weight should be equal to one, and you will get the same answer if we have equally weight. But if the weights are changed, our probabilities change uh, for different values, then we can get different results. So uh, this is all about uh, the central value of the data that how we can calculate. I will explain only uh, arithmetic mean, and then. Uh, mean for group data and expected value and uh, weighted average. In the next video, I will explain that how all these uh, results we can obtain by uh, using different Excel function uh, or in uh, other software. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video.